And just like that, you'd never be able to tell that there was a storm last night. How weird. In fact, the weather today is quite the opposite of what it was last night. A sudden turn to a storm was so scary as well because not only obviously am I in a tent, my tent was right next to a tree. And it also makes you think about the people that were climbing the mountain and all of a sudden a storm hits. Because it wasn't like there was any warning either. I looked on my phone to check what the weather was saying and it was, it was saying it was going to be warm all evening with a bit of clouds. Anyway though, I'm getting a bit off topic. Look at the view behind me. How insane is that? Anyway, talking of lakes and mountains, Today I'm heading to one of the world's cleanest lakes. Water quality is so good you could actually drink out of it. I'm not sure I will though because you can actually swim in it. But I'll cover it all and explain it all a bit more later. For now I'm going to take in this view and then begin cycling again. This lake couldn't come any sooner. It is absolutely boiling hot even in the shade and there's a huge climb. Fortunately, I've met Julian. I'm not too happy about the Liverpool shirt, but it keeps you supportive whilst you're cycling, doesn't it? So, yeah, I'll get there soon enough. It's hot. one of the world's cleanest lakes is called Lake Lungern. I did some research as to why it's one of the cleanest lakes and it does make a lot of sense. The first one being that the water flows down from a glacier. Glacier is obviously snow and snow tends to be pretty pure so when it melts and it flows down the side of the mountain it's pure water flowing. Two is that as it's flowing the ground and the rocks and the trees and the bushes all act as a natural filtration for the water coming down here. And the third one is that it's not very built up around this area, so there's no pollution from us humans. This lake is absolutely stunning. Campsite's just there, 